Ahoy me hearties! As we were sailing along off of the British coast, in drops a coin bag and the mail by a parrot post. Today's postal delights are in the form of a collection of Isle of Man coins, which were won from a young grocer's Christmas giveaway. We have a date run of the Raven and Falcon one pound coin. So we've got 17, 18 and 20 with a fabulous portrait of the Queen with a pearl necklace. What a beauty that is. <laughs> we have the 2020 two pound Tower of Refuge. Apparently this landmark was built upon the reef on the orders of Sir William Hillary, the founder of the Royal National Lifeboat Institution in 1832. And finally, we have a date run of Manx Lockton Sheep, I think you pronounce it, native to the Isle of Man. And apparently they have brown wool and usually four or occasionally six horns. Who knew? No, I didn't, but it is a beauty nonetheless. I love the Triskelion symbol on these coins as well. So that's 17, 18, 19, 20. Apparently, according to this coin yearbook, 2022, 2017 is 325,000. 2018, 200,000, 19, 937,500, and 2020, 375,000. So in pretty low mintage figures, although they always are for Isle of Man coins. But the question is, will this look of swashbuckling treasure transcend over into this coin bag? Time will tell me, hearties. Time will tell. And 25, all present and correct. So, for the book, we still need the Puddle Duck, the Q, 14 Olympics. And technically, from this week, a Jubilee 50p, but this was picked up a couple of months ago. And I'm not expecting to see that Jubilee coin for some months, to be honest. So, what will be our first doubloon of the hunt? Oh, beauty and EU stars. That is an honorary swashbuckler. Don't need it for the book, but I love it. What a cracking opening. Fingers crossed, the look transcends throughout the bag. Uh, only one for a bag, one for a bag. As long as it's a swash book, I'll take that. Was that it? Has the look ended? Ah, oh, diversity built Britain. 2020 coin, definitely not a swash buckler. So are we averaging one commemorative per bag? It looks like it, doesn't it? I've just seen a dirty dictionary. There it is. A filthy read, as per usual. Never seen a clean one yet. Still averaging one commemorative per bag. And there's another dirty dictionary, can you believe it? Susie Dent will be out of field day. Don't see it's one per bag again. It is. Slim pickings, mind. Oh, it's been keel hauled. Come on, keep up the average. What the hell has happened to that? 
A ring sting? <laughs> there it is. BB King of the High Mintage Potters. It's Benjamin Bunny. It's not a coin patrol bunny. It's not signed. Is it rotated? It's not. Therefore, it will become a two coin of phrase signature to watch out for. Are we still on for one on average? No, we are not. Blow the man down. Tom Kitten Beatrix Mog. He's pie eyed off Romy Grog. Three sheets to the wind. Look at the state of him. And that pushes our average up. Excellent. Not much to ask, is it? One commemorative to the bag. Onwards and upwards. What we got here, a rather dirty, filthy Peter Rabbit. It's the fake Flopsy though. This one is the high mintage Peter Rabbit from 16. So we don't keep them. Certainly not in that condition, we don't. Ah, it's all about the Benjamins. Do we have a rotation error? No, we do not. Still yet to find one of those. Slightly better condition for the signature. It's all about the Benjamins. Still no rotation error. Don't mind getting those though, because you don't want to like to sign them for you. Peace, prosperity, and a little paper. It's Brexit and all the legislation that it involves. So, the doubloon of the hunt so far is still the EU stars. Do we have any Moolah in here? Any bounty, any loot, any pieces of it. Aha, it's VC the medals. It looks so old, it has to be the 2006 version. It is very, very common. Brexit again. Will that be the most common coin you think coming out today? I think it will be. It's Christopher Collects Ironsides. Nice to get an outing. Just under 7 million of those. Bizarrely over face value. As you know, some people like to keep them. Some don't. It's one of those on the fence. Another dirty dictionary. Top shelf material. Not had a bust yet. Have I just given this the curse of death? The black spot. I think I have. Oops. No, it's Brexit. Aha, first paddy. It's in pause. Nice to see you, Paddy. No. Come on. Oh, it's been nibbled by the sharks. Hook, line, and stinker. Rancid. Get that out of my hand. It's been given a cut of nine tails. Can barely make out that that's a Britannia. So Jeremy Fisher. I'll have to check which way up that goes up. It's presumably like that. Doesn't feel right that. Let's have a look at how I would have one in the book. Yeah, it is. It's to the left, yeah. False alarm, I thought it was. Still worth checking though. 
A very, very dirty, dirty dictionary. Leading the count at the minute with four. Oh, saved by a Jolly Roger Bannister. Perfect for any pirate coin home. Oh, let's see you know, a new one. It's a paddy. There he is, right at the end. How do you get the tower? This is episode 19. How far do we chase all these Olympics? Here's Jeremy Fisher again, which will be that way, of course. Yep. Good condition, that one. Pervert. It's Tom Kitten. Look at those eyes. Oh, it's the first outing for Run Rabbit, Run Rabbit. Tail of Peter Rabbit. Not a fan of that coin. Heading for a bust. Is it our first bust? Could be. Come on. We don't want worthless dregs and empty kegs. We want swashbucklers, bonanzas, jackpots, riches, spoils, loot, bounty, you name it. Well, we're willing him on. It's the Commonwealth Games, Glasgow. Off a queue there, look. Never mind. Can we splice the main brace? Dirty dictionary. Oh, how long has that been at the bottom of the ocean? Filthy, rotten to the core. Six bags left. Come on, we don't want sloppy seconds. Shiver me timbers, blow the man down. We have an Olympic for the book. Get it! Not, none other than basketball. It's so cool, the texture to make it look like an actual basketball. It's a swashbuckler. It's one for the books. Woohoo! The Titanic sails at dawn. Well, sink me. I did not expect to get an Olympic. I thought we were heading for the same old dross. But we've been saved by a life raft. Just shows you these sealed bags are the way to go. I just cannot fault them. Because it's one extra layer of security. Someone works in a bank. But they can't get to it. Can't sift through like the see uns like the unsealed bags sitting there. And they're less likely to be returns as well. Yes. BB King of the High Mintage Pot has still no rotation error. This is uncanny. Oh, it's been keel hauled. Oh, We've got an army of frogs today. I remember peeps, the collective now. Three bags left. We've had two trilogies of late. How we make it a trio of trilogies? Anything's possible. 
no two coin hunts are ever the same. Like a game of chess. Are we gonna finish with pawns? Only the pawns in the game. Last bag look, come on. Will it bring a spring upon a cable? Where's me buccaneers? Scoop of that. It's a bust. Never mind me hearties. You know what's coming. I'll grab me spyglass and sift through the definitives. Anything low mintage or out of the ordinary. Well, it wasn't a case of all the eggs in one basket. It was a worthwhile sift through the definitives with two low mintage 1.8 million 2017 shields and one 2008 3.5 million minted Britannia to add to the basket of goodies. <laughs> but literally, the star finds and MVP awards this week are in second place the EU stars at 5 million mintage. But the gold medal goes to the swashbuckling Olympic basketball at just 1.7 million mintage, worth a couple of quid. But more importantly, finds a place in the treasure basket. One Olympic down, 13 to go. I am cock a hoop. <laughs>